So hello and welcome to the computer lab. So in this short video I'm going to show you how to restore a thumb drive back to its original size. Uh, for example this pen that I have loaded in uh, File Explorer on Windows is a 64 gigabyte and it's currently showing at 32 gigabytes or there or thereabouts. Uh, and this is not to be confused with the way that Windows reads uh, gigabytes against gigabits because um, you always end up with a, a, less, a lesser size usually when you're viewing these drives within Windows. Uh, and like I said, if I go to the properties of this particular drive, you'll see that it is showing um, 32 gigabytes is XFAT and I've got no other options. Even if I go in there and I click on quick format and click start to format the drive, click OK. It'll go away, format the drive, and if I go back into it, open it back up again, you'll see when I go into the pen, and right click, go to properties, and you'll see the free space at the bottom there is 31.9. So it's not reporting back the correct, nowhere near the correct size. Well, I expect this drive to between, uh, be between sort of 57 and 60. Uh, so it needs sorting out. So I'm going to show you the way to do that and how to get your thumb drives or your flash drives back to the given size. So the first thing we need to do is push on the Windows key and R at the same time, so Windows key and R, and that will bring up the run command in the bottom left hand corner. And from here we need to type in another command, so within the run command we type in diskmanagement.msc, so that is d-i-s-k-m-g-m-t-dot-m-s-c, and then click where it says OK just underneath. And all this command does is open up the disk management console that is built in to Windows. So once the disk management console is open, as you can see in the middle there, and I'll just sort it out so you can see the Windows better. Um, the important thing here to note is that you make sure that you have the right drive selected that you want to alter uh, in the disk management console. Mine has got the label D and is named pen 32 gigabytes. Yours might have a different drive letter and will might have no name at all. So you see on my drive it's showing uh, 25 gigabytes unallocated and it's got on the left hand side 32 gigabytes allocated. And to access the contextual menu you right click on the mouse and it brings up this separate menu. You can see on the one that's unallocated I've got no options really to do anything with. Uh, but the one on the left, uh, that's the one that I'm going to do. So you right click on that and I want to delete the volume. However, before I do that, I want to make sure that Windows File Explorer isn't trying to look inside the drive. So I'm going to go onto my File Explorer that I've, I've got open. You can just close yours, uh, but I'm just going to pick up another drive so it's not trying to look into that. And I'm going to right click on the live bit of the drive, which is this bit that is um, primary partition, and I'm going to delete volume. What that will do, it will wipe that uh, partition or part of the volume off this particular drive, and then it leaves whatever's left uh, unallocated. So I'm pretty much back to where I need to be, and it's showing in there it's 57 gigabytes, which is the low side. I would expect it about 59, but that purely might be just the way that the uh, thumb drive um, or the flash drive is has been built and manufactured. So from here, we just need to format the drive. So again, pick up on the drive that we want to format, right click. I'm going to do a new simple volume, click on through the wizard, click next, leave it full. Uh, for the values. Click on next. It's going to assign a drive letter. I'm just going to leave it as it is. That doesn't really matter because that might change depending on when you move it across machines. Click on next again. And then from here, you can pick how you want to format it. I'm just going to leave it on NTFS. Leave everything default. I'm going to give it a name. This time I'm going to call it 64 gig, although it should be more like uh, 57 with my particular drive. And then just give it a name after that. You can just leave yours blank, uh, but I'm just going to name mine. Going to do a perform a quick format and leave that checked as well. Once we're happy with all that, just click on next and then finish, and that will format the flash drive and then open a window up to show me. And you can see straight away we've got the name that I'll give it 64 gigabytes. Uh, I'll open it in this window down here 64 gigabytes. And if I right click and then go to properties, we should now see the full size of this drive. You can see there that I am showing a capacity uh, of 57.3 gigabytes, which is not uh, exactly how it is, but that's pretty much how I expect it if I was converting 
Uh, maybe expect like I said 59 uh, from a 64 gigabytes uh, drive but um, yeah that's how to recover a thumb drive or a flash drive using Windows uh, disk management tool. I'm doing mine in Windows 11 but yours can be done in most of the most recent Windows versions. I hope you liked the video if you did please do hit the subscribe button hit the like and hit me with any comments below they are always appreciated and thanks for watching the computer lab.